All right, what's going on, dudes? Welcome back to Maya Night. If you're watching this on YouTube, basically I did stream earlier on today at the uh, the usual time, and it just turned out not to be super duper productive. Had a prank fail on me, and then didn't get too much other stuff done. So this is an encore stream later on at night, and uh, I thought that we would continue working on this big, big reactor that I started in on at the end of that stream. And uh, I have a lot more glass to make, lots more reactor casings to make. Um, lots more, basically everything to make, and yeah, but I, I just went strip mining, so luggage has some stuff in it, the, uh, I, I have some stuff in my inventory, and we should be good to make a few more, um, a few more of the glass, a few more of the reactor casings, a few more of the fuel rods, and hopefully get something that's outputting quite a bit of power. It doesn't need to be, uh, full force to start off with because we're not really quite at, uh, the level of being able to make the mining drills yet. But when we do, we'll work up towards that as well. So, yellow right. Uh, let's get more of that if we can, because that's also using the crafting recipes. Not there, right in here. I have five already good to go. I'll need to focus on mining some more yellow right at some point. But any hoosers, okie dokie. Oh yeah, I should, eh, I could name the dudes at some point. It is what it is. Not a, not a super high priority at the moment. All right, cool. So that's all going good. Now I just need to make a ton of, Reactor casings for days! Woohoo! Alright, how actually are we doing on graphite? Graphite 221, I guess. That's good. We don't need it. It's not like an extreme amount more. Reactor glass and reactor casing. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to extend it just by one and then it'll be the same size as uh, what I had earlier. And then that was, uh, the one that I had earlier was outputting, um, it was outputting 25,000, which was, I guess, like the minimum amount for uh, a mining drill. Oh wait, we might make it, we might make it. There we go. All right, that's the casing outlined for the mega big reactor. Woo. So the whole, the turbine thing, um, thank you, Abby, for subscribing, much appreciated. The whole turbine thing with the spinny things, it's actually another, uh, another structure, which I didn't realize previously, uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a totally different structure for actively cooled reactors. It's like turbine housing, turbine. You basically, rather than taking advantage of direct RF per tick output, you take advantage of steam, and that's used to power the turbines, and then those output RF per tick. Makes it a lot more expensive. It's just more uh, more efficient. Uses less resources and stuff. So yeah. All right. Anyway, we're good on that. The rest we can do with glass, except for uh, a few little things. So let's see up here. Boom. All the sides we want to have done in glass. It's actually not required. We could just make everything out of uh, solid reactor casings as well, but. Not enough control rods. Reactors require at least one. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you very much for the information. Pretty close. Just going to need a little bit more, which means I'm gonna, I am going to have to mine some more glass. Uh, so that is definitely a thing, but we'll have to get to that later for now. All right, Eulorium fuel rods. Let's do it. Five, two, three, four, five. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then I guess one more here. One, two, three, five, and only four of these can actually be capped, sadly. Uh, I don't know if it'll get mad if one of them isn't. Oh well, whatever. So all we need, all we need now is uh, we need some more glass. We need the ender fluid stuff and things, and this will be just a massive passively cooled reactor that outputs quite a bit, but not not as much as it could, but it'll output it as much as much power as we could possibly need now, pre-mining drill laser thing. So yeah, after we make the, uh, after we make the reactor, what we need to make is uh, a mine factory reloaded breeder, because the, uh, we, well, we need to make a breeder, we need to make a slaughterhouse, which sounds extremely morbid, but we need to make it so that it, uh, we can get pink slime, which is a crafting ingredient for the laser pre-charger thing in Madu Hickers. It's a whole long involved process, but take my word for it. I was looking into it in a, in a single player world earlier, and that's the stuff that we need. So yeah, all right, Enderman, are you ready for things and stuff to happen? 
This is gonna be great. This is gonna like hit you in the feet with this, and you're gonna die first try. All right, just double ender pearls, double. Oh my god, double ender pearls for every hit. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, can you, can you die? There we go. So many Enderman skulls. That's great. Ender pearls, great. I am. So it's, I feel actually kind of. I feel kind of badly doing this because they just are completely outmatched. Oh, what is that? Ender shard from Thomic Tinker. Nice. Okay, so what else do we need? Uh, so rubber. Rubber is needed in order to make some of the mine factory blocks. So mine factory, no, that's not what I wanted to look up. Uh, we need to make a slaughter. It's just absolutely morbid, but we need a slaughterhouse because that's what we can use to get the pink slime. So plastic sheets require raw plastic, which requires rubber, which requires raw rubber, which requires sawmill uh, rubber wood. Thank you, KX3Panther, for subscribing. Much appreciated. I wonder if I have any, do I have any rubber wood? Rubber, I have literally none. Okay, so I guess it's bone meal time then, isn't it? Um, we'll just gr just grow some rubber trees over here, because why not? Sounds like a plan to me. Mega rubber saplings. Oh, wait, where did you, I, it's like I knew I had you in my inventory, but you just wanted to disappear on me. I see how it is. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on here? What in the crap is going on? Hold on. What the hell? What the hell? Wait. Help. Help. I'm inside of a giant rubber tree or something like that. Oh, God. How but What in the world just happened? How big is this? Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God! <laughs> Welp. Welp. Yeah. All right. That's a lot of rubber. <laughs> I was like, how in the world? Oh my. Okay. Well, this will. Jesus, man. Oh my God. Oh my god. Welp. Let's make a few more of those. Yeah, why not? That's that's fine. Jesus. You know, when it said mega, I, I thought it would be big, but not not that big. Not that big at all. <laughs> Decapitator. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, what would happen if I tried using Kesha on that? It'd probably just get wrecked. How f from how far away can I make- can I put this down? Thank you, a gear beast, for subscribing. I just want to not, like, well, I don't, I just, I don't want to get suffocated again. Um, please. Please. Uh, back off. Uh, back off. There we go. I'm alive. <laughs> the biggest trees in the world. Wow, where did I put the other one? Right over here. There we go. And, oh god, almost got eaten up by it again. We got the biggest rubber forest in the world. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this place. This is amazing. Wow. I love it. I lo has everyone <laughs> next time anyone go tries to go to the end, they're going to fly by here and be like, "What in the world just is this?" All right. I have a lot of buckets to fill. <laughs> Lots of buckets. Um and this actually may be difficult to do. I may be making mistakes by doing this, but because uh, when I want to put in more of the Eulorium fuel rods, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, whatever. I have no clue what to do with the Molten Iron bucket, but I have it, so that's pretty cool. Molten Iron. Eight. Yeah. I love having eight iron. <laughs> I might just, like, I might just break the smeltery just so I can get rid of the, the random stuff that's, like, still laying around in there. I don't know. I don't know, after I get all, obviously after I get all the Ender stuff out, but, anyway. Uh, still gonna need to make more of the Ender con- you know what, in order to actually carry the, the crazy amounts of, uh, power when we do get to the mining laser, I need to make the mega conduit things, which require, like, crafting from, like, everything else, so then energetic alloy, which requires crafting from all this stuff, and then, it's expensive, is basically the moral of the story here, is, uh, actually, Actually, I could make some of these right now. Redstone, gold, and glowstone. Glowstone. 
What do I have in the way of glowstone? Not that much, but uh, enough to make the higher tier ones. Yeah, I might actually be able to make a batch of the uh, the 20k things. What was it again? Uh, conduit. Vibrant alloy, which requires... I can do that. I can make some of those right now. Why not? Why not? Gold axe. So, again, the slaughterhouse will generate pink slime on occasion. That's what I need in order to make the... Uh, the laser drills, so kind of have to do this. Um, all right, so slaughter, slaughterhouse. Yeah, love it. Great, I got got me a slaughterhouse. <laughs> I don't know why. And then I wanted to get a breeder because then you can sort of make it automatic because you need animals to go to the slaughterhouse, but in order to get more animals, you need to breed them. So I'm a great guy. Just a real. I'm I'm a I'm a real gem. Just a real gem. Okay, more Eulorium. Um, I'm gonna keep that on me, because we'll need it. Eulorium, 194. Woo! Oh boy. Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good on Eulorium. That's great. Doing good there. Cyanite Reprocessor. Let's check the Cyanite uh, that we have, because 35. Plutonium can be used to, to power the thing as well. So there we cool. There we go. Cool. Vibrant Alloy. That's good. And then... Uh, I'll do it because this stuff can do 20,000 RF per tick. Pretty narbuckle conduit. Uh, hold on. How much more do I have? Conduit. Oh, I have a lot more of the conduit binder. That's fine. Just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. So I guess I have actually more, more ender buckets than I needed. That's fine. Always good to have extra. Okay, so I think we're pretty solid. Let's fin let's finish this thing up, and uh, yeah, all right, everybody ready? Moment of truth. Here we go. It's a reactor. It's working. I think I think it worked. Oh god, let's check. This thing it. This thing's gonna be able to generate like a lot of power. I think. All right, let's see. So I've got my Eulorium. I could throw in probably forty-two at once. Because why not? Let's just throw in 42. There we go. 42 all at once. And I need to make the reactor. Oh, God, how much is it doing? It's not going to be crazy to start with until I add, like, more more A. Okay, we're at 5,000. <laughs> yes. All right, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. This is amazing. So a couple things we can do to increase that power output. to 6,000 right now. So what I did in my thing is I put some... Um, Reactor control rods all the way out to just one one away from the edge so we could add in um, Triple the amount of current reactor rods that we have so triple that and then throw in more Eulorium max out the amount of Eulorium that it can handle and then it should be outputting approximately uh, 24,000 RF per tick So yep, not too shabby 6,000 at the moment though. Not bad. Not bad all in a day's work So that can power things Pretty well, pretty well. But uh, anyway, so we want to auto eject waste. Um, but I may also just, uh, I'll just eject fuel at the moment, and uh, we'll put in a couple pieces just to have it rolling. And then watch how fast it. Look at how quickly it fills up that energy buffer. Good God. Um, and these things, they don't explode. They don't explode. We should be fine. It doesn't generate as much when you don't have in the amount of eulorium, you know. Um, but you know, it still still should be generating things. So there we go. And eh, throw in a couple more. Why not? Why not? All right, so it's holding steady at like 300. The more you put in, the more that it outputs, so on and so forth. But I'm only 2.5% full on that. Uh, okay, great. That's large. I'm really hoping no one blows it up because that actually took a lot of effort to make. Pretty cute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to yeah make a, make a farm right over here. And then that farm is gonna have a uh, it's gonna have a slaughterhouse. It's gonna have a breeder. And in order to use the breeder, though, I need wheat, which I have a little bit of, uh, and it'll use wheat whenever it can. Then I'll just have to fetch some animals. And it's just it'll be the the best, the best farm. And it's <laughs> the the contrast, the stark contrast between hey, there's a friggin' giant nuclear reactor, and oh hey, there's a farm right next to it. Because that's that's good. Who doesn't want to do that? Only weird bit, that's a floating plant. All right, that's interesting. Oh my god, so many, so many flowers. 
please. Please, there's too many flowers. Um, oh yeah, no, it's it's great. So basically it uses, it uses wheat. The breeder uses wheat no matter what you have. So it can be pigs, it can be cows, it can be sheep. It doesn't matter, it'll all use wheat. Um, it can be chickens even, so it, it's, it's kind of nice in that sense. All right, well, let's get the party started, why don't we? Oh boy. I'll at least get the setup going, and then uh, after that I'll, I'll have to, well, I don't know. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to grab some more stuff, but um, anyway. So breeder will go on one side, slaughterhouse will go on the other. What'll happen is I'll breed things enough, and then I'll lure it over to the other side with some wheat or something, and then I'll slaughter it all, and I'll hopefully get some pink slime. Just, I'm a great guy. I'm a great, kind individual when it comes to animals completely. Yeah. All right, so that went the wrong way. All right, face it down, slaughterhouse and the breeder. I guess they face down whichever way they want to go. And boom, okay. <laughs> what a what a lovely fellow I am. Boom, there we are. Look at this. It's the it's the happy it's the super happy fun time animal pen thing. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Because who who doesn't want to be in the super happy fun time animal pen? I know I would want to be in the super happy fun time animal pen. All right, let's everybody have a good time. All right, pig, are you ready to come into the super happy fun time animal pen? Because I think you should be. It's a fun time, I promise you. What could possibly go wrong in the happy super fun time animal pen? I don't know of a lot of things that could go wrong. There we go. Let's grab you and then, I don't know. Hey, other pigs, hey, other pig. How are you doing? Would you like to take a trip over to the super happy fun time animal pen? I bet you would. I bet you, uh, dang it, you wanted to, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Uh, I forgot about that thing that, that they can get out because of that. Um, Jardon, don't be dumb. Jardon, why do you have to be dumb? Like, they, Jar, Jardon, hey, 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 get your butt back, get your stupid pig butt back in. Oh my God, you stupid idiot. I just need to put the things on here. Okay, you are dumb. You're dumb. You are so dumb for real. There we go. Ain't no getting out now. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You're stuck in the super happy fun time animal pen now. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> they wanted to shift on the fence. I am not going to let him do that. That is not allowed. There is no spinning on the fence. There is no fun in the super happy fun time animal pen. Are you crazy? And over here we go, and boom, and boom. Actually, I kind of don't need you to be hooked up to anything at the moment at all. Oh, balls, did that wait? Oh, that does work, okay, cool. So let's see, is this working? Is it working? It is working. Okay, pigs, breed, do your thing. You gonna breed? Are you gonna do stuff? Did the wiki page lie to me? Don't you dare lie to me. Hold on. Work, one, energy. Hmm. That's interesting. I'll try, I'll try carrots. Um, thank you, use ender bucket to leave Spectre for subscribing. That sounds really dangerous. I don't really want to dump, jump into the Spectre ender thing in the Spectre dimension. I don't really want to do that. Maybe it does require carrots. All I'm saying is on the wiki it said one thing. So... That's all, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying is that it said one thing on the wiki, and if it's not true, then it's not true. But, let's see. I know that gig, pigs eat carrots. I know. I know that they do, but it just said all the, said it uses wheat for everything, so I don't know. All right, there we are. Are you doing, doing what you do? Oh, okay. So it did. You did do what you do. This is great. What the thing is, all right, well. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, so it worked. It does require carrots. That's silly. The wiki lied to me. It lied. Why would you lie to me? I don't want you to lie to me. That's not very nice. Let's see. Let's see. Carrots, anybody? Oh yeah, carrots, I forgot. Champlon has a, are those potatoes? I can't remember. Anyway, all right. Hey, so how are things? How are things going over here? Pretty good, yeah? Still got spidey issues?
I can't actually tell. Uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't tell. Wait, eh. Okay, he definitely still does. That's good. And it keeps, oh wow, it even keeps the warding when you use the matter transporter. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Anyway, and is this place still, still off limits? Yep, oh Jesus Christ, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> wow. Oh wow, nice. Nice, that's beautiful. Uh, damn it. Oh god, how do I even get out of here? GG, Tucker. GG. I've been gotten good. Ow. Watch me get teleported out again. God dang it. God dang it. I'm about to mine right up through his freaking. Whoops. Okay, let's just put that back. That never happened. God. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. Um, right. Anyway. Boom, so carrots. Lovely. Lovely carrots. I love carrots. Carrots are great. They're tasty and delicious. And yeah. Alright. Boom. I need to start me a carrot farm of my own when we get back home. Home. I love how my, my home is a nuclear reactor. It's a great home to be in. I wouldn't ask for anything more in life other than that. Good to go! Alright. So, we can throw in wheat. Um, like that. And then throw in... I'm just gonna... I, I just have to grab the... Oh wait, do I have the platinum hoe? Platinum hoe, remember, is the most valuable thing that I own. Oh, I've still got the platinum hoe. How could I not have the platinum hoe? <laughs> okay. This is... I, could, I, I couldn't ever... There we go. Okay, so the breeder is doing its thing. And I just want to make a couple farms. Molten iron. Lovely, lovely molten iron. Mmm, delicious. Great. Why not just put that there? There, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Why is it spreading so far? What are you doing? Molten iron. Oh my god. What have I done? I've created a mess. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Well, rest in peace. Is there ocean? Is it hot? It's hot. Oh my god, it's on It just doesn't cool down at all. Well. Uh. Yep. Alright. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've, I've made a mess under the ocean. The platinum hoe is almost broken. Oh no, it's broken! We broke the platinum hoe! It couldn't handle it. The immense pressure of all the farming. <laughs>